Okay, I was doing a little testing with our new uh, our new little uh, I don't know what you want to call it. We don't have to have a machine sheave, but uh, this customer, this local customer, has our machine sheave, and for him letting me test on his Rhino, I'm gonna fix him up with all the new stuff. Okay, so just take his sliders off, put our new ones on. They won't go but one way. Then we're gonna drop one of the new Uh, roller weights all the new roller weights down in here be a good idea to clean all your grease out okay set our new cover on and we're done. I'm not putting, I'm not putting the O-ring back on or the cover. I'm thoroughly convinced that this setup here, greaseless, more airflow, keeps the dirt out, and he won't have that dirt buildup problem. So we're gonna put her back like this. So just watch the other video, the machine sheet video, to get you how to put it back on. Okay. Now the trick here is is to hold this together while you're putting it back on. Okay. All right, our belt is slack from my screw that's in the secondary. I push this and you can see our splines are all the way through our fixed plate. Put our washer and hold it. This part here is very important. Make sure you don't let it slip down like that on the end, you gotta keep it up. And then tighten it. That's tight. Now, it can still move like it's supposed to without the cover. The cover has no bearing on this. Take our screw out. It spreads the secondary. Push it back on. Put a fan back. Put the nut on. Tighten it up. We put our bearing retainer on. Just for testing today, I'm only putting two screws in mine, but that's you put four and uh, screws in it and reassemble as normal. Just remember, you got two lengths of screws that hold the bearing support on. The longer ones go in the bottom left. And the top right. 